These are the top five R6 solo queue attackers for Operation Dread Factor. Let's get into the video. Coming into my number five spot is going to be Lion. Now, Lion has always been a pretty good operator, but especially this season because of the EMP grenade meta that we're currently in. If you don't know, EMP grenades are really, really strong right now. They're an outstandingly easy and reliable way to get the wall open with any sort of harbinger that you want to pair it with, but also it's good for disabling any electronic utility in general, whether it be Malusi or Fenrir, which are both pretty good for solo queue. You can use EMP grenades in a multitude of different ways. Lion also has a Gone 6, which is great for destroying bulletproof utility on the defense and is overall an extremely strong secondary utility weapon to have. He also has a 50 round drum mag primary, which means you don't necessarily need to worry about not having a secondary gun because he has that many bullets in his primary that you're not going to be reloading as often. Speaking of his gun, it has a 1.5 times scope with absolutely zero recoil and a good amount of damage to wrap it all up. So overall lines let out is very nice. All of that being said, I haven't even talked about his primary utility yet, which is the EE1D lion scan. This lion scan is better the better you are at using it. It has a very high skill ceiling. Now, you can just use his lion scan randomly three times throughout the round and still get some pretty good value out of it, but the more you know how to use it, the better off you'll be. You can use each lion scan to coordinate a single push or to clear out roamers. If you drone out somebody and you know where they are, once you lion scan and they don't move, then you still know where they are. You can easily pre-fire them, but if they do move, then you have pings on them and you can go kill them regardless. So either way, if you use lion scans effectively, he can be extremely powerful. You don't even need to use it to roam clear or get kills yourself. If you notice that your team is rushing or they're about to get a push or they're about to get a kill, you can line scan for them and get them free intel. So overall, line is great if you're a team player, but also for solo queue in general, if you want to have a good reliable ability and a good loadout to go along with that. Number four is Zero. Now Zero always has been a pretty good solo queue operator, but especially now more recently that intel is becoming a strong attribute to bring to your attacking team. Not only is he good for watching flanks, especially considering the fact that nine times out of 10, one of your teammates is going to die within the the first 30 seconds, but also you can use it as just general intel if you're out of drones, or you can use it to burn a Rooney gates, or you can use it to tase electronic gadgets, maybe to get the wall open or to get rid of Fenrir. Either way, he has a pretty good all around piece of utility for his primary gadget. He also has a Gone 6, which we talked about with Lion being very powerful and versatile. Paired up with his unique weapon that brings a 1.5 and a 2x scope on his gun, Zero can be very lethal if played correctly. He also has hard breaching charges, so he's a good all in one operator that can also get walls or hatches if you need to do that yourself. As Zero, primarily you will be using your cameras for flank watch, but like I said, there's a various amount of assortments of things that you can do as Zero with his cameras other than flank watch, making him an all-around great packaged operator for a solo queue environment. Number three is Ace. Now, I don't really need to say anything. He's a hard breacher with an AK-12. I could wrap it up there, but I'll go more in depth than that. If you want to pick a good solo queue hard breacher, Ace is definitely the best one out there. Not only does he have an outstanding weapon to back up the gun skill if needed to get into a gunfight, but also his hard breach is the most versatile on the solo queue market. Not only is it ranged, which is a huge deal because it makes you safer whenever you're trying to breach the wall open, but it's still a big enough size that you can crouch through, and if you pair up two at a time, it can actually be big enough that you sprint through. His only weakness is that he's not really able to get hatches, but 9 times out of 10, you're not going to be using him for hatches anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Also, he has claymores or breaching charges for added destruction or flank watch, so for solo queue, you can kind of watch your back with the claymores if your teammates aren't on drones for you. And then going over his AK-12, it has very high fire rate with a good amount of damage, very low recoil, and a 1.5 time scope. It's all around one of the best guns in the entire game, and it comes in a hard breacher, which is very, very crucial. So if you want to go into solo queue and bring a bit more utility, but still have the gun to back it up with your gun skill, Ace is definitely the best hard breacher and one of the best solo queue operators around to do the job. Coming into my number two spot is Dokebi. Now, Dokebi is probably the best flex operator in the entire game right now because of the amount of stuff that she brings. Just like Lion, she brings a Gon 6 and two EMP grenades, which we've talked about extensively being two of the best gadgets in the game right now because of the current meta. Not only does she do this, but her primary gadget, her logic bomb, allows you to roam clear with ease, especially compared to Lion, who takes a lot more skill to perfect. With Dokebi, you just call and you can hear any defenders that are near unless they're inside of a mute jammer. But a lot of the times, roamers don't play mute or they don't have mute jammers on them, so in a solo queue environment, this doesn't actually matter as much. Dokebi's DMR, if you're good with it, can actually be lethal, but if you're on console or maybe you're just not as good with her DMR, her loadout can be the one thing that does kind of suck about her kit. But other than that, she's wildly strong, and we haven't even talked about the strongest part about her yet, which is hacking phones. If you do roam clear correctly with her logic bomb, every defender that you kill drops a phone. You can go up to this phone with your tablet and hack the phone, giving you access to every single defender cam in existence that is in the round. That's default cams, maestro cams, echo cams, mozzie cams, valkyrie cams, bulletproof cams, literally 
literally every camera that you could possibly have. The only issue is it's not like Bravo, where you get to have the function of the cams or you're able to move the cams around. You're just able to use the cams to see. You can still kind of move them left to right like you'd be able to move a drone on attack, but you're not able to move the echo cam around, you're not able to shoot with the maestro cam, you're not able to jump with Mozzie's drone. It's just all stationary. This being said, if they have a lot of cameras on site, that doesn't really matter because you're still getting the intel that you can follow up with that you and your team can effectively win around because of. And it's as simple as just getting a kill. So if you play off of your entries, maybe you play off of any teammates that are going in and getting kills in a very kill heavy meta, Doka B can be wildly powerful. Now, if you don't believe me, you can look at her ban weights. <laughs> you can look at her ban rates. She is one of the top five most banned attackers on console and on PC for Emerald and above right now. This being said, Dokubi is an all around great operator for this meta, and I definitely recommend that you play her if you haven't already started. And before I get into my number one spot, I wanna go over two honorable mentions. The first of which being Ash. Now Ash is super meta, like I've talked about in my tier list videos and in my other top five underrated videos, but she's not necessarily a good operator, and I don't think utility wise she's comparable at all to the other five that I have on this list. Her soft reaching charge is cool, but she only has two of them and they took away her flash grenades meaning that the whole run in with your flashes burn the shield and destroy the shield as one operator kind of deal is completely gone she has a three speed with a g36c or an r4c one of which has the 1.5 time scope which is super cool but that's literally all you're bringing to the table is a gun and like i said if you want a good gun with good utility ace is definitely a better person for it next is knock now knock again is like ash where she's kind of meta a good solo queue operator especially if you're an entry player but in terms of utility she doesn't actually bring much she's just able to evade cameras but if they're not camera heavy Maybe they're not even using their cameras or the fact that they can still see you on the cameras They just see the lines means that she's not really all that powerful in terms of utility now She does bring frag grenades, which is a huge plus also with her SMGs and a 1.5 time scope Which is all really cool and that's why I put her in the honorable mentions But again, just like ash not very comparable to the other five that I have on this list and then coming into my number one spot by zero surprise is Yana she's been the number one in all of my top five attackers for every season for the past like three times that I've done this video and there's good reason she has frag grenades which I talked about on knock being super powerful but she also has a 1.5 time scope on a g36e which I talked about on ash also being super powerful not only does she have the two combined reasons that ash and knock are so good in one operator but she also has infinite intel through her yana clones which she can use an infinite amount of times to drone out the area that she needs to go into and then clean up with her grenades or her guns which I already talked about being very powerful she's a two armor two speed meaning that she can still zip around the map but have the armor to back it up making her all around a well-rounded operator for the attack also this season is super run and gun heavy where most people are just running at each other shooting each other and yana does this best as she is an entry fragger operator she is actually the most picked operator on attack for console and pc and it's good reason she's fun to play she's good for newer players and she gets a lot of value when you do play her with that being said that's it for the entire video sub the channel down below if you want to see more guides like this like the video if you liked it my name is alka and i'll see you on the next video later